Hey, what's up, YouTube? How's everybody doing? So today I have a really cool video that I want to show you guys. So right here we have a key for a 2013 to, through 2015 Nissan Altima. And what I'm going to show you guys today is how to go ahead and create one of these universal prox keys by X Horse using your Key Tool Max. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you put a battery in here. Okay. You can tell that a battery is in here by the little lights and it'll be flashing. So we're going to go ahead to vehicle remote from the main menu. Actually, first, let's go ahead and read this chip. Okay. Let's go ahead and read the transponder. So as you guys can see, it says pcf 79384 a Okay. So we're going to go ahead and generate it to the Nissan Altima Smart Key or Prox Key. Okay. Let's go ahead. Nissan, it's right here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to our remotes. We're going to go to Altima. And then the one that we actually want is 2013 through 2015 key let's go okay it looks like this this is a generic aftermarket as you guys can see it doesn't have a logo but this is a regular design and this is a new design okay so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select 2013 through 2015 key let's go it tells you that you shouldn't have a battery to remove the battery but that doesn't apply to this okay if you don't have a battery in here it's not going to read it, so you need a battery in here, so don't pay attention to this. So make sure that you have a battery in here, and we're going to go ahead and press Generate Remote. Right now what the Key 2 Max is doing is, is detecting it. This might take from 3 to 4 or 5 minutes for it to finish generating. Okay. Quick little shout out, if you guys want to get um, sweet deals on keys or need any type of inventory, go ahead and hit up my boys at UHS Hardware, okay? Locksmith Supplier, that's a number, that's a website, check them out, you guys. So as you guys can see, it generated once, now it's generating again. Okay, so it's not done. Generating the key fully. Now, the thing I, I like about these universal keys is that you can have one or two of these and then generate it with whatever vehicle list the key to max gives you. If the vehicle is not on here, if the vehicle is not on here, chances are that the key to max cannot program it or generate the remote, okay? So if it's not on here, it cannot do it. So whatever keys are right here is the key that it's gonna let you generate. If you guys have any questions, email me. Now we're waiting on this remote. This one also has a slot up here where you can put the emergency, the emergency blade, like this one. So after it's done generating, this little light's gonna flash, you guys, letting you guys know that it generated successfully. So make sure that you see that little light flash, okay, you guys? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and press complete. It took about two or three minutes to do that. So we're done generating it. Let me show you guys a little slot where it's at. If you guys press this button. And as you guys can see, it has a little slot right here for your emergency blades. What you put right there is you put your flip key blade right there and then you put a little rope pin to hold it in. And then you can go ahead and, and use your, your emergency. Here, right here, let me see, I think I have it backwards. You guys can see, it holds your emergency key in there. And you guys can turn these into every vehicle list that the key to max gives you. Okay, so these are the universal. So now we're done generating our universal prox key. We're gonna go ahead and program it to the vehicle using our key to max and our mini OBD, okay? So follow me, let's go do that now. Alright guys, so we are in the vehicle now. We're gonna program the new 
Universal Smart Key. This is the customer's original key. I don't know, don't ask me. So I actually ended up connecting the cable I was supplied with from the Max Key tool to the Mini OBD. So I, I believe it was just lack of power. Okay, I don't think the car was getting any power, so I connected the cable. So we're gonna go to IMMO programming. We're gonna go down to Nissan. It should be really simple for you guys. We're gonna select Nissan. Now we're gonna go by system, okay? Cause they don't have the model. They don't have the, the model of this vehicle in there. We're gonna go to smart. Now we're gonna go to 20 digit pin, okay? You guys remember that 20 digit pin. And we're gonna go to type one, okay? After 2013. We're gonna press start. It's loading. We're gonna go to smart key. Program smart key, switch ignition off, turn on double flashlights. So the double flashlight is actually the emergency lights, you guys. So we're gonna press okay. All keys will be clear. So you guys, all the keys are gonna be erased. So make sure you have all your keys with you that wanna program. This is the customer's original key. We're gonna reprogram. We're gonna press yes. We're clearing all the keys. You guys heard the car beeped. That means that the keys were cleared. So keep pressing the start button until the ignition's on. So this is the tricky part. Just make sure you hold the start button, hold it, don't let it go until it's on. As you guys can see, you guys can let it go now. We're gonna press okay. Turn off ignition switch. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Now we're gonna press okay. Press the start button with the logo of the first smart key. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna program our universal smart key we're gonna go ahead and press it and hold it perfect so you guys heard it only beep once when it beeps repeatedly that means that the, it didn't accept the key okay so we're gonna go ahead and turn it off we're gonna press it so as you guys heard it beeped like crazy that means it didn't accept it we're gonna use the next key Perfect, so all you gotta do is just turn off the button and you turn it on with the key, okay? So you turn it off and then you put the key right next to it and you push it with the key and hold it right next to it. It should only beep once. Like I said, if it, be if it beeps repeatedly, that means it didn't take the key. So we're gonna press okay. Turn off ignition switch, it's off. Please wait for five seconds. Okay, match successfully key. Whether it match the next one, we're gonna press no because we actually already matched all the keys we're gonna we're gonna go press okay program success so it said the program was success you guys so we're gonna go ahead and turn the emergency lights off open our vehicle we're gonna grab our new key make sure that our new key program perfect perfect you guys so as you guys can see our proxy key works perfect our max key tool is beeping so it's telling us um, to, don't forget our mini OBD that's in there. That's why it beeps like that. Okay, we're gonna check the original key. Make sure the original key is programmed as well. Original key is programmed as well. This vehicle, fortunately, um, the signal to pick up the prox key is broken. So the way they actually do it is um, they put it near the start button and they push it. So you guys can see it programmed successfully as well. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked this video and it helped you guys out, make sure you hit like and subscribe to my channel for more cool videos. Okay. Until next time, you guys, take care. Okay, you guys, so I want to show you a cool function, you guys. So when we select our key right here in the main menu, we'll generate our key. And we go to mod if we go to modify this button distance, we can actually switch the buttons around. So right now I programmed this key and the trunk button was actually the panic button. Okay, so actually the little red one is a trunk button. So what I did was I ended up just switching the numbers. As you guys can see right here, it says trunk. Well, first we gotta actually read it. Okay, we're gonna read our, our smart key, our prox key. And all our information is pop out right here. Now, as you guys can see, uh, the, the, everything is correct now. But before, our trunk was 01, the panic button, and the panic button was 02. So all I did was, 
I went and I, I changed this to a number to a number two as you guys can see okay change it to a number two we we'll press OK and then we go to the panic one and this one we change it to a number one as you guys can see okay we change it to a number one we press OK and all we gotta do is put the remote back in here and then we press right and it fixes the button so if your buttons are backwards with each other all you gotta do is switch them around okay and you guys should be good as you guys can see our panic button is a red one so that works perfect now okay and then we have our trunk open already with our trunk button if you guys want to update the mini obd tool we're gonna go ahead we're gonna switch we're gonna go ahead and scroll to our mini obd we're gonna press update from the bottom and then it says firmware update make sure that you're connected to wi-fi because you're gonna need that and make sure that your mini obd has power okay as you guys can see the light is on and we're gonna press update let's make sure that we connect it first through bluetooth as you guys can see okay we're gonna press connect as you guys can see the light is blue now right now it's trying to match it up with the max key tool so that we can update it we're gonna press update continue and it's gonna start updating okay as you guys can see it tells you connect to wi-fi and sure it is good update may take around 10 minutes so after the update is done you can go ahead and press continue and you should be good okay so this is the way you can also connect it to a car okay connect it to a car the car will give it power you can do it that way too okay it's all up to you